What's up, everybody? Uh, just a quick shout out to uh, K Studios on YouTube. Uh, I kind of got this tutorial, the cipher, this tutorial from their site. Thanks very much, and I'll leave the link for the plugin below. What's up, everybody? Okay, so today we're going to learn how to convert hair uh, from Daz into groom hair, so physical hair inside of Unreal Engine, okay? It's pretty easy. There's a plugin that we use uh, in Blender. It's all free, everything's free. So let's go ahead. Look, I've put some hair on this character. If I go to a uh, smooth uh, wash out, you can see it's polygon hair, okay? I don't know if this works with fiber mesh hair. It doesn't, I couldn't get it to work, but with polygon hair, you can do this, okay? It is beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just export the air. Now, one little thing I want to do before I put this through is uh, it's easier for us to have a scalp attached to the hair. If you don't, just just do this. Just uh, get rid of the hair, okay? Oh, ugh, you don't have to get rid of the hair. But uh, click on your character and click in the, uh, look for an attachment of a scalp and you can just chuck it straight onto the character, okay? Unsupported, eight females, I'm sure it is. Is this for, I don't know, I'm hoping it is. And just click it on. And at least you've got like a sculpt. You need some form of geometry. There we go, that's perfect. And then what you can do is you can just take the hair and you can uh, pair it onto that, okay? So there's that and there's the hair, okay? So now if I take the Apex sculpt, whatever, you can just export that. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this. Uh, and I'm gonna just export it anyway. Make sure it's an OBJ. I'm gonna call it hair 01. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. And these are your settings. So here are the settings that I leave when you do the OBJ. Uh, these two bone. Just copy those settings over, and you're good to go. From there, you can just hit accept, and you are good. Right. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so once we're in here, first thing you need to do is get the hair plugin. And uh, the hair plugin I found on here, I'll leave the link uh, below. Uh, that link I gave you, just go to page one. Scroll down at the bottom here, go to page one uh, over here, somewhere here. And once you get that, then you can scroll all the way to the top and you'll see it's Sinus. Sinus did it. And at the very bottom here, you can see here's the add-on, okay? Hair, zip, convert, whatever. You can just click on it and you can download it, okay? All good, all good. And then you just install it just normally uh, in, in Blender very easily. You can go to edit, look man, I don't use this very much. I think it's preferences. And you can go into your uh, add-ons and then you can just look for it. You can uh, install it. And once it's there, it's done. And then it should come up. Uh, if you click this little button here, hair, okay? Over here. Daz Hair Converter. Right, once you've done that, just search where you put your hair. And there it is, OBJ. You can click it. These are the settings. Just leave them as normal and import the OBJ. Okay, and then we'll wait. Excellent. Okay, so the entire human comes in. That's good. That's good. Um, and we can just go to uh... <laughs> okay there we go we can go here and we can just switch off the girl uh there she is we can just switch her off we can switch off all the things that we don't need in fact we could have deleted these back then but we didn't and it's fine uh this is all we need we need the hair and we need the 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 scalp that's it okay Okay, so select the hair, and we can go through to, uh, let's just move this to GPU, just so it's a little faster. And then let's go to our materials over here, and we can see there's a couple of uh, materials over there. Right, once you're here, you can literally just click uh, one of the materials here, hit tab, and this will convert it into something like this. Uh, so basically all you're doing is, is moving it to vertice mode over here. You don't need to select anything. But over here in the materials, then you can select like the, the sculpt. You can select it and you can hit P and hit selection. Okay. P and selection. Now you've got that uh, broken off. Cool. Let's go back into uh, tab mode. 
So we've got that. See, now we've got these two are separated, which is paradecho, paradecho. Okay, and that's all we really need to do for you. Um, uh, once we've done that, we can select the hair first. Okay, and then uh, shift select the sculpt. So we got both of these selected. Sculpt comes second. Go into this hair thingamabobby and dash hair converter and just hit convert hair. Okay, and let it do its thing. Let it just and bam! There we go. We got them here. We got them here. Okay, cool. So once you can see now, if I select it, if I select it, it's it's uh, together. Um, remember, we don't need those eyebrows or anything. You can switch all that crap off. Um, so there we go. Uh, so now I can just select this, and when you've got that selected, you can go down to these little three thingies here, uh, particle properties, and just over here on the hair, you can see disconnect hair, and you can you can push that. Okay, and that just gets it ready to export and the last thing we got to do before we export is just go down to yeah these little this particle whatever's uh the hair selected and just go down to render here open that up and make sure show emitter is off okay oh it's not going to work properly so just make sure show emitter is off and we is good to go uh then what we can say is say file uh, make sure you've selected it file export export as a limbic okay a limbic abc file okay uh okay so when you export a limbic just make sure these are all correct the first thing you're gonna do is scale and you're gonna put them scale them scale onto a hundred like this a hundred a hundred um you're gonna put frame start and end on one one that's fine uh, get that onto one and then these settings use instance custom properties you can just copy these settings select objects visible objects uv pack normals generate coordinates and at the very bottom export hair export particles and then just select where you want to put this where you want to put this stuff and just give it a name uh i'm going to call this higher higher just like this hair oh one okay fancy but not too fancy you get a little underscore a one and then you can export olympic okay and that's it that's all you got to do we're done here okay once you're in unreal engine the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go through to uh let's bring this closer in here there we go i expect that let's just bring it a little bit here uh so first thing we're going to do is go to settings up here and you're going to go to your plugins and you're just going to type groom okay groom and make sure Olympic Groom Importer and Groom are on. It's going to ask you to hair modeling tool set. Ooh, nice. Uh, once these two are on, uh, it's going to ask you to restart. Restart the engine and use is good. The next thing you want to do is go to settings and project settings. Okay, project settings. And then just type in there, uh, compute compute does not compute. And you want to switch on... Uh, let me just check. Uh, if you scroll a little bit down, just write compute, and over here you'll find support compute skin cache. Make sure that's on, okay? Uh, it should have a tick on it anyway. Right, once you've done that, you can uh, close that, and we can carry on getting the hair. Once we've done that, we can uh, get our whatchamacallity right here. Uh, do what you want, mate. I'm gonna put a uh, hair over here. I'm just you can make a folder anywhere. I'm just gonna call it hair, hair, and I'm gonna import this. And then I'm gonna say file import, and we can import a file. And then just let's go to where uh, our thing is. Uh, once you locate it, just double click on the ABC file, boom, and then this thing's gonna pop up right here. Everything is fine here, but in rotation. You're gonna take the X and you're gonna make it 90. And in the scale, you're gonna take the Y and you're gonna make this negative one, okay? Uh, it's just the way Blender works with Unreal. You just important it correctly through Unreal. And uh, that's it, you can hit import. And bam, we've got our hair, I. Okay, so uh, we've got the hair in here. If you double click, you can see the hair over here. It looks very light. Uh, sometimes it might do this where it looks like it's virtually invisible. Uh, that's all fine. That's all fine. I mean, at the end of the day, if you drag it in, just drag it into your scene, just to have a look at it, see it, uh, whatever. Uh, and then, uh, so I pressed F to just hone in on it. 
and then over here you can see like the the width if you just click that on you can you can start getting your hair uh looking good looking good um and that 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 helps a lot okay we're just gonna bring this down because obviously okay so it's 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 massive my it's massive if i put this on to 0.1 and we we did scale this a hundred times so that's why it might be so goddamn big but okay we we've brought it down uh uh, I saw in the tutorial that you do it 100, and before Unreal 5, uh, I saw that you have to, maybe they fixed the scale, I don't know, but anyway, mate, here's your hair, all right, it's your hair, mate, uh, there we go, you do have groom hair in you, now, now we're going to get more into details with this, this is just like a, a quick one to get you up and running, uh, placing it on a character, you can just literally add it into the blueprint, um, so we will do that we, we will get setting up an entire character with with groom hair but for now this is just to get you into it how to convert it into groom hair and the rest uh we'll do like a quite an in-depth tutorial on this and how to how to get what we're looking for okay uh anyway people i hope this helps mess around with some of these settings here if you see here uh, if you click your your details and your hair there's a lot of cool shit that you can you can mess with uh, hair ray trace wall. That's French. Use hair. Use hair what? Use hair what? Uh, ray tracing geometry. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so the, it's it's all pretty good. It's all pretty good. I don't know what any of this does. I've got to I've got to check it out. Ah, oh, hair length. Oh, okay. There's a lot of settings in there, man, which is really cool. And the hair actually look good. The hair look good. A uh, little bit of tweaking on the material and stuff, and you've got some pretty solid-looking air, mate. Um, so, pretty damn cool. And look, man, sometimes you can't select the hair. Even if I hit T and try and select it, you can't. All you got to do is just select the hair inside of there, and you should be good again, okay? I don't know why sometimes it does that. Uh, nobody knows, mate. Nobody knows. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps, and that's how you get daz hair into groom in unreal 5.3 so just quickly for now just showing you uh this is just dragged and placed on top of a mannequin but you can see how good we can start getting the hair and, and i haven't touched the hair a lot you can define a million things in the materials i haven't messed with anything yet but uh that look good that start to look good you know these are a bit thick that's fine. It's all right, mate. You can mess with all of this kind of stuff, all right? You can mess with all this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, man, you can start making things look good. Look good. So, really nice stuff, man. Really nice stuff. Shadow density. Ah, so many cool things. Really cool things. So, you can start getting some nice looking hair on your characters from Daz. From Daz using those character uh using your your hair from daz converted into groom and away you go anyway guys i hope this helps and i'll speak to you later bye guys bear bear where's the off button mate